Jessica Alba teased Megan as she wanna be a lifestyle guru by selling fasting book on the TIG, no one gonna buy that Sarah P. The Duchess is reportedly poised to relaunch her blog, The TIG. But it won't trouble brands like Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop, for one big reason. Poor Gwyneth Paltrow must be quaking in her Isabel Morant boots. Meghan Markle, the esteemed public figure, has just been given preliminary approval to relaunch her lifestyle blog, The TIG. According to reports, details filed with the U.S. Trademark and Patent Office show that the website shut down by the 41-year-old in 2017 could make a comeback as early as next week, and go head-to-head -head with Baltro's £200 million lifestyle brand, Goop. Jessica Alba, the actress who owns the blog The Honest Company, shared about her potential rival in the wellness race with the New York Times, I've heard of Meghan Markle and the TIG blog. Her site, she shut down that site in 2017 and is now restarting it in hopes of toppling the two monuments of me and Gwyneth Paltrow. To be fair, the TIG was never a competitor to Honest Company or Goop. A friend of mine was hired by Megan as a sales associate for the TIG as she prepared to relaunch this blog. She said that Megan will publish books on how to fast to achieve the best shape. I was like, please Megan, no one is going to buy that book. Markle bid her three-year-old blog a soupy farewell when she got engaged to Prince Harry, leaving those who depended on her fashion, travel and beauty tips and rousing one-liners at a loss. How to make that Aegean-style kale salad and beet cheesecake without her recipes. How to master winter wellness, without the Megan know-how. How to formulate your own coherent thoughts on equality without the TIG there to put it into words rivaling those of our greatest thinkers, girls just wanna have fundamental human rights. Luckily, the spiritual funk we've been mired in for six long years may be coming to an end. The inspiration for the website's name famously came from Markle's favorite Tuscan wine, Tignanello. It was an aha moment at its finest, Megan has said of her first sip. For me, it became a TIG moment, a moment of getting it. From that point on, any new awareness, any new discovery or oh, I get it. Moment was a TIG moment. I feel duty bound to point out the notable lack of TIG moments since. Certainly, Markle didn't get royal life, or at any point during that stuffy stint garner any new awareness that there was only one star in the room, and that was the Queen. She didn't get how badly her Oprah Winjithan would go down or how tone deaf that six hour Netflix documentary would sound to a post pandemic world beset by social, economic, and existential challenges. Last month, Newsweek reported that the Sussex's popularity had plummeted to an all time low in the US, with Prince Harry down 48 points since December and Markle down 40. In fact, the Duke of York has higher US approval ratings than these two. But Markle wouldn't let a little thing like that prompt a TIG moment either. To be handing out advice from this lowly podium certainly shows consummate, I'm tempted to say delusional, self belief. Because here's the thing about Paltrow, you can deride her $15,000, 14,000 pounds, vibrators and affordable yacht rental services all you want, query the science behind her 8-day, mono-diet goat milk cleanse and vagina steaming witch doctorisms, but in the eyes of Goop's 8 million plus subscribers, the 50-year-old Oscar winner is an inspirational human being with a covetable life. Behind every successful female lifestyle brand is the straightforward science of envy. Without it, Reese Witherspoon couldn't have become a lifestyle guru worth upwards of $400 million. Kate Hudson wouldn't have a business portfolio, encompassing fitness wear and supplements, worth an estimated $100 million, and Jessica Biel wouldn't have been able to build her $550 million wellness empire.
Jessica Alba teased Megan as she wanna be a lifestyle guru by selling fasting book on the TIG, no one gonna buy that Sarah P. The Duchess is reportedly poised to relaunch her blog, The TIG. But it won't trouble brands like Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop, for one big reason. Poor Gwyneth Paltrow must be quaking in her Isabel Morant boots. Meghan Markle, the esteemed public figure, has just been given preliminary approval to relaunch her lifestyle blog, The TIG. According to reports, details file.